Hi, Dr. Thayer here. I'm with Del Mo. Yes. Good. And from Texas. And so he has uh, seen uh, chiropractors for the last 35 years for his back, right? Sure. Correct. Gotcha. He said he's seen almost 10 chiropractors that time, but he saw our videos on YouTube and decided to come out and give me a try. What's your, what's your problem, sir? My sciatica, I give him, have real bad sciatica pain in my legs, my, my back, and also I uh, can't sleep, I suffer from insomnia, my neck, yeah. and uh, my uh, shoulders, and um, just I'm in pain 24-7. He came out with an entire list of all the things he has going on, and so that helps me a lot, guys, so we can go a lot faster in your exam. I uh, consistently, constantly I have to clear my throat. <clears> has <throat> some kind of build up in my... Blurry vision too, last couple of years. Blurry vision. Uh, hearing, how long has the hearing, hearing been going on? Oh, here and be going over 20 something years. Gotcha. Back surgery, we had, he had a stit put in his heart about uh, five years ago. Five years ago. So 70% occlusion was coronary artery. And so because of that, we also had to send for a scan today. We wanted to do a carotid vertebral artery clearing, meaning we wanted to make sure he had an ultrasound to see if it was okay. There's patency in there so that uh, we covered our bases, made sure he's not going to have any problems with the cervical adjustment. So again, I recommend it to chiropractors out there. I saw neurosurgeons, uh, and the neurosurgeons told you what? Okay, they want to do a uh, fusion on my, my neck. Then I had an accident, a trampoline, jumping around, and landed on my neck. and uh, um, Went to the emergency room, right? Yeah, went to the emergency room. I couldn't balance myself. and uh, I was taking uh, Meclizine to balance myself. My equilibrium was off. Yep. And I uh, went through all kinds of things. What kind of drugs are you on? Oxycontin too? Oxycontin. How much a day? I take uh, two pills a day. Constipation. Tell us about your constipation too, sir. Yes. Uh, my constipation is pretty bad. I have to take uh, colon cleanse just about once a week. Brain fog, which he doesn't want to admit, but he knows he has some brain fog too yes. going on. Concentration mm -hmm. issues. Okay. And how much pain there, sir, in your back? Uh, about seven. Seven? Go ahead and stand up. Go back like this, sir. Seven. Gotcha. Oh. He looks like it's a seven, right? He complains that it's a nine out of ten most of the time and a ten out of ten multiple times a day. And this is for years. Oh, yeah. yeah. For years. Okay, look at the floor, please, in your neck. How much pain in your neck there, sir? My neck, right there, six. Six, look at the ceiling. Oh, that's pretty bad. But I got about eight there. Eight, gotcha. Now we're going to have him squat. Now, again, he is, what, four months off his of surgery, and we'll watch him squat. I want you to tell me how much pain in your knees and how much pain in your back, sir. Right there. Uh, well, 10. I want pain. 10 where? My knees. In your knees? What are my hamstrings? My back, my lower back. Okay, so one more time, go down. Okay, that's it, right? That's it. That's gotcha. Okay. Is that close? Why are you shucking and driving, dude? Yeah, I cannot balance myself. I just. Okay, I just... Try to say five seconds. Five seconds. Can you do five, five seconds? seconds? <laughs> okay, good. Now, what about your feet? Do it one more time. Tell us about your feet. How much about my feet? They hurt. Okay, my stand feet. up again. Stand up again. How much foot pain? Uh, well, eight, nine. Eight, gotcha, good. So, you ready for a miracle, sir? Yes, good. let's do it. On your back, sir. Good. Yeah. Is that just like all the other guys? Oh my gosh. <laughs> See a little clear. <laughs> Hey guys, remember Delmo's been to over 10 different chiropractors over 35 years and he's been a little odd right now, a little different than usual. So let's kind of check in with him, reminding him not to twist and turn. How are you doing, Delmo? More clear when you adjust it. I just like, I heard, I heard like a little beep sound <laughs> in my right side. Uh -huh. You know, so I see more. I can see more, a little more clear. Isn't that great? It was, you know, it was a little foggy first. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. sure. so swallow is that? Is that <coughs> any different? You know, kind of yeah, oh yeah, I kind of know the difference on it too. But seriously, I'm not just saying to say it. I just, yeah. I don't feel that build up because you know you can, I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel my neck a little more. How can I say aligned a little up? This is called recalibration, changing the body from head to toe. Let's see how he's doing. So what's the wifey say? The wifey says what? He's not what? She can't say it louder. Oh, he's, he's not, not limping. He like usually limps. He's not wobbling. He's not wobbling. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not wobbling. He's not wobbling. Yeah. Look at him. Oh my God. That's... Yeah. 
And so the wife's saying it because she's too chicken to be on camera. Let's go back in the room, sir. I feel, you know, kind of like a relief, you know, that my my body's not the real tense. It's kind of like relax. Gotcha. So good. Good. Um, let's go through those range of motions. See how you're doing. They never touch toes, sir. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And look at Daniel's face. <laughs> you even were surprised. <laughs> that was a seven or eight, sir. What is that now? Oh my gosh, one, four, three. Yeah. When's the last time you touched your toes like that, sir? It's been quite a while. Quite a while. Yeah. Years. Yeah. How is this going to change your life? You, is this going to be different, right? If you can feel oh, yeah. less pain, right? Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. So that's what we're looking you know at. The, you know the biggest thing to change your life? You're going to have to freaking move to California. Yeah. Well, no. I, you know, well, I would like to, but it's still. <laughs> They're crowded over here. <laughs> Go ahead and lean back. That was an eight minute ago. What is that, oh sir? Oh my gosh. You dropped down to four. Okay. When you take all that freaking Oxycon, oh, you're, uh, you're on Oxycon and you're still at an eight or a nine. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just took all that pain away with what? How, how long did that freaking take? Minutes, seconds. Yeah. Just and how many Just chiropractic visits have you been to over 35 years? How much money have you wasted in those other doctors? Plenty. I've been to all kinds of chiropractors, acupunctures, physical therapists. I've been through all of it. I've been through all kinds of injections. Yeah. Nothing has brought any of surgeries, too. I did minimal invasive surgery in my back. Look down, please. That was a five or a six a minute ago. What is that now? Just dropped down to, dropped down to about three. Look at the ceiling. That was an eight, I think, a minute ago. You can see it all yeah. Now, the one I love, these last two. These last two really tell a story because they're a close kinematic chain, guys. So when he squats, it puts a whole bunch of stress on his body in ways that he can't control. You can't fake this crap. So again, you ready to squat? Yeah. I like that squat a little better. Oh my gosh. My knee don't hurt that much. It was a 10 a minute ago. What is it now? Five. I can bet more too. That was a 10. Post-surgical, four months. 10 out of 10 pain, guys. And went to what? Two, three? How about three? Yeah, three. And how about your back? Go down one more time, sir. <laughs> you went, it was a 10 a minute ago. What yeah, is it now? Yeah, no, hurt. A little sore, but it doesn't hurt. I can. Look at this guy. He wants to squat now. I can talk, but I've been wanting to do exercise for a while. That's pretty neat. Okay, last one. This is the one that impresses me. That one impresses you guys, the squat thing. But the last one, standing toes for five seconds. How much easier is that? At least I can hold it for a little while. What do you mean a little while? Look at you're up there now. Oh, yeah. Now how about that seven or eight out of ten pain in your feet? It dropped down. It's, I still have pain, but it's not that thing. What is like it? Like it was four. So half the amount of pain? Oh yeah. Okay. Um, anyways, all you haters out there keep writing all this crap. Like you adjust the neck, and how can you fix a toe or a feet? Some stupid comment you guys make. Did we not just help your feet? Oh yeah. Did we not just help your sur post-surgical knee? Yes. And what did I treat on you, sir? Just fit my neck. Yeah. Swallow again. <clears throat> you know, that, I don't have that build up. And isn't that crazy? <clears throat> very, very crazy. And, and that, that was really builds up here. Yeah. And that was one of his main issues out here, guys. Yeah. Clearing throat. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, right. see you guys next time. Well, sleeping better for sure. And uh, how much better is sleeping better? Oh, 10% uh, better, 20, 30, 40% oh, better, or what? I'm going to say about 60, 70% better. Gotcha. When's the last time you had good quality sleep like that? A long time ago, I can't recall that. Years, right? Yeah, years. Years. And tell us about your pain. I know he still has pain, guys. He's not out of pain at all. He still has trouble getting out of the chair, still limping around. But tell us about how the pain has changed after one treatment two days later. Oh, well, at first, uh, had, I was pain free about for, I'm going to say about eight to 10 hours. So it felt so good, no pain. Then to start coming back slowly, my sciatica pain. But uh, I'm very confident with more adjustments, it's gonna get gonna, better. Gonna get yeah, better. So yeah. Anything else you want to share about how the last couple of days have gone? Oh, constipation. Oh no. Oh, no, I didn't ask about that. that. That's that's better. It has improved too. Has improved too. Oh, yeah. And we just showed him his X-rays. His X-rays are effed up, really bad. Um, we'll uh, actually show them to you. And after this, the X-rays is 
reverse servo curve, the Atlas is smashed up against the occiput. Um, I call it the chili dip effect. He's worn off at least half of that bone on his Atlas. Big, huge noggin on the back of his head from long standing um, poor posture. Arthritis all along the right side of his back. Um, L3 looks really messed up, like there's some kind of mild compression fracture there. We have a bunch of stuff wrong with Delmo. 11 millimeter right imbalance, healed clavicle and 13 degree curve. Here we have 14 degree scoliosis, significant arthritis. Here we have a smashed atlas, no room up there. Reverse curve and huge EOP. And last we have a mild compression fracture L3, arthritis and constipation. So all we've done on you sir is what? Just the neck. Just the neck, right? So we're going to do it again on him today. Good. There we go. Oh, gosh. How was that, sir? Felt good. Oh, yeah. My gosh. A little different than the last adjustment, right? Yes. Yeah, I think it was a little bit more, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Put left shoulder down. Wow. Yeah. Um, if you rewind to the first adjustment, guys, oh, that's gosh. significantly easier. Huh? Oh, much better. Yes. Yeah, much better, yeah. My sciatica pains have uh, uh, the pain level from uh, before from one to ten. I was like an eight, nine. Right now, I'm looking like a three. Correct. And so, tell us what you're thinking about staying another week. Why? Uh, because I see, I'm seeing good positive results. The reason you stay is so I can teach you how to stay out of pain. Good. Yes, sir. Good, wow. I had to drop my shoulder down so yeah. you able to get your... This clavicle is completely broken, guys, which I keep telling you about. But you would not believe how hard it is for me to adjust them. Because this clavicle sticks out right where my hand is. So I can't get my hand low enough to adjust them. Uh, I was pain free for two, three hours. The more I walked in, my knee started hurting. Gotcha. He ended up taking medication at night when he went to bed, right? Yes, I had to Why? take two painkillers. I was in pain. In pain. But then tell us how you woke up this morning. This morning I woke up good. There was no pain. So his clavicle is broken here, and so it's always difficult to get this adjustment. So we came to the new position to hopefully help me. There we go. That was much better. Delma, what is the uh, experience last uh, since uh, last night? Well, uh, like I was saying, I took some medication, painkillers, to be able to go to sleep and and of uh, to it just I, my mind being programmed to do that. So I'm gonna try to see cut it down. Yeah, we're gonna try to cut it down, right? And cut it down and, and, gotcha. and just take one instead of two and just stay away from it as yeah. much as I can. And so tell us the big thing. This is the big thing that the, the home run of what I'm talking about, guys, is that last night he was on the Balboa Pier fishing. He caught a halibut. <laughs> he said it had, he had to throw it back because it wasn't big enough, but um, caught a halibut, had a great old time out there. Uh, but his pain came back up a little bit, right? Correct. And so what if I taught you how to bring your pain down? Well, to to uh, go back into the, you know, my, uh, where I, my shoulders. I was too tense. I dropped it down and just relaxed. Close my eyes and end of uh, pain seems to be going away. Yeah, so slightly. the exercises, the techniques we showed him, he finally just goes, you know something, if I can't beat him, I'm gonna join him and just see what happens. And he actually worked, right? You're oh, yeah. able to control your pain a little more, right? It's all about programming your mind too. Yeah, and he's getting it. I mean, I uh, didn't get it at first, but he's he's on the right path. So I'm really proud of this guy. He's He was a little resistant at first, but he's doing good now. Good, ready to get Justin? Let's go. Yeah. And so now we've been kind of uh, teaching you to lower your shoulders all week, right? Yeah. Now, when I push on here, this is me forcing your shoulders down. True. And it hurts too. It hurts too, right? And so we want those shoulders as low as humanly possible. Good. There you go, dude. Okay. This body fall to right here for me. Nice. What's I'm expecting, Alan? Yeah. That's what she said. Oh, gosh.
They don't have those jokes in Texas, I'm sorry, do they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on, Liz. I know. Let me clear up. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, right, we have too much fun here. It's not always stressful. Closer. He's a little tired on this side. See, I've been wanting to do this because that clavicle is always in the way when we adjust on the table. This feels much better to me. Okay. Good, sir. Good. Okay. So tell the viewers a little bit how that feels different than the ones laying down, if at all. Yeah, it sure does feel different. I just, and especially the right side that you did. Oh it was huge, gosh, yeah. It was awesome. It was awesome. Oh, so yeah. just give us a, a little bit of just feeling, your, your, your feeling of how it feels different. Relief, sir. tension. More relief? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. So what happened when you went off the drugs, sir? Oh, well, I had, uh, I slept good. And? And if, uh, what about your pain? This ridiculous the pain. pain yeah, no, but the pain bed. wasn't there too. That's why I was able to sleep. Of course, but you stopped taking the drugs. What else happened though? What was the results of your legs? Remember? You said your legs, restless legs syndrome. Yeah, I got that. The, he doesn't the, remember much. Yeah, right. the restless leg syndrome. I get restless syndrome just about every night. It wasn't there like it used to be. Yeah. So uh, that's been there for a long time. And so took no drugs. We've had one week of treatment here and he can sleep without medication now. First atlas adjustment, guys. You guys see this first atlas adjustment? Good. I heard it. You heard <laughs> that one? Oh, yeah. Good. Good. He's had a revelation about his wife. And so tell us about how that conversation you had, we just had a few seconds ago, about the relationship you have and how that's helped you through this whole process. Well, my wife, uh, I was telling Dr. A that when we call in, I call in, uh, Danielson was the one to answer and, and he, again, he don't have the skills yet to, and, and she got a little upset. She said, forget it, we're not coming over there, blah, blah, blah. And, but I still was determined that I wanted to. So I called back and I said, let me speak to your office manager and here comes Liz, the pro, and she talked. And I said, okay, She's in the camera right now, too, by the way. <laughs> Say hi to everybody in the comments. Hello. And I said, uh, Liz, I need to, for you to talk to my wife, please. And she did. And we all got on the same page, and we're here. We're here. Right. And then uh, first day was a little iffy with our, with our uh, connection. Oh, yeah. oh, and your wife yeah. calms you down again, too, right? Oh, yes. But yeah. Dr. Ace came in, you know, just a little strong. Little strong attitude, you know. Look at he said. Now it's a little strong. A couple of days ago, it was like he was, he was like, I'm not gonna mince words here. He was a dick. <laughs> now it's a little strong because he likes me more now. See. Yeah. So it kind of threw me off a little, but you know, getting to know him, yeah, well, his amazing works. I mean, seriously. That rock your world? Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Instant relief, huh? Oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I had a little soreness in my neck, but that's all this adjustment we've been doing. You've had um, many chiropractors work on you in the past. Yes. Is this similar or not no, similar? No, no, it's totally different. Totally different. And just a quick, uh, just a quick 30 second, how is it different? So people understand why they should come here and take the time to come here. The relief. Uh, I came in was, I came here, I traveled, what, like, 23 hours all the way from Texas over and to get relief from my sciatica pain. My sciatica pain was killing me 24-7. Yeah. When I walked in here, it's, my pain level was like an 8, 9. Now it has really dropped down to a 2, sometimes a 1. And how many years you been seeing chiropractors? Oh, many years. I'm 62 years old, so I just rounded up about 30 years, probably more. <laughs> So a long time. So a uh, different experience here than other chiropractors. Totally different. Yeah. I just want, again, you know, I say all this stuff, you guys, why are you being so cocky and all that kind of stuff? But I want you guys to understand, it's not all the same. No. See you guys next time. He said that when he started to feel some pain, what'd you do? I go back to my, what do you call that? Na na uh, namaste. Namaste. Decision. <laughs> <laughs> so normally I don't do Atlas last day, but this guy. Time actually, maybe one more time. There we go. Whew, that was a double. Gosh. Yeah, you can tell he's a little tired today, though.
Delvo. Namaste. Namaste. No mistakes. <sighs> Anyways, it's supposed to be namaste, but he doesn't know how to say it, so he goes, no mistakes. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so uh, Delmo, uh, two weeks. Why don't you give us just a little shorthand version of what this two weeks has meant to you and kind of the, your progression through the office, please. Uh, it's been a great relief that I can say. I came in with sciatica pains. So I try everything back home. I'm in Texas and uh, surgeries, medication, injections, you name it, all kinds of therapies, all kinds of chiropractors and still was uh, was getting nowhere still had my sciatica pain and uh six months ago i had a knee replacement and it flared up my sciatica twice and so uh, i came across doctors uh, i call him dr ace uh, i came across his videos on youtube and when i started listening to the testimonies that's when i talked to my wife we need to go see this guy here so and I'm, we're very very happy and very that we came across you because uh, pain level, when I walked in, was a, a one in ten. I was like an eight or nine. Right now, two, three. You know, it's very low, and it feels good not to have pain. And without no kind of medication, because I was taking a lot of painkillers, and now I haven't taken no painkillers for four days. Oh my God, I forgot about that. Yeah. I haven't taken no painkillers, so we had so a challenge to do that. We challenged to not take painkillers because he was, he was kind of as a habit taking it. True. Yeah. Uh, also, my sleep, oh my gosh, getting some very good quality sleep also. And of, uh, Look at this testimonial, so nice. So, uh, one thing that I have learned is that, like you say, muscle memory, which, which is true because, like, okay, I'm very tense, and now I need to learn to relax. And when I do that, I notice that my body, the pain starts like to go away slowly no mistakes no mistakes so <laughs> i'm gonna make no mistakes that. here that's so funny so if you follow his instructions no i can oh, guarantee you you're gonna get look some at that i love that follows instructions down yeah. he was a little apprehensive in the beginning but now he's like now he understands oh yeah he's drinking he's drank the kool-aid here <laughs> yes yes in the uh, and that's why i had a little trouble at first good thing my wife was here she kind of coached me through it she said just relax and just follow the instructions good so uh, that's about, I mean, I, I don't want to even break this up because I mean, I love a good uh, kiss Dr. Thayer's ass party, but let me go over some of these things because you guys always like uh, objective findings. Let's go through the laundry list of things you came in with and just kind of tell us how much better it is. Restless leg syndrome. I was oh yeah, restless leg syndrome. Every night, oh my gosh, you know, I had a, I had a routine that I had to do, you know, put in oil and doing the massaging and stuff like that. And, and uh, and it was something that, that I was, was my training. Routine, by the way. I was training my mind to do that. So here, Doctor A says, "Okay, we need to get out of that that routine. That routine, which I did." And uh, brain fog. How about the brain fog? Concentration levels. Uh, it gotten better. At first, I was like in a daze. Why? I'm gonna say a lot of medication. Also, uh, the adjusting, you know, uh, the cranial nerves. I mean, it was. Oh my gosh! That's the guy talking Amazing. chiropractic. He's talking yeah. chiropractic now. Mm. How about uh, carpal tunnel? The um, no. No corporal tunnel. I had a little, uh, uh, like a little uh, tightness in the, in the morning. I noticed that too. So, oh my gosh, in the morning I wake up with my numb, my fingers will be numb. And uh, it was painful when you don't have no circulation. Ever since uh, Dr. A started working on me. Um, heartburn, heartburn, heartburn. Once a week. It's heartburn I was, I was getting it also, and that really helped me a lot also. So no more heartburn, right? No more heartburn. Constipation? We have oh, good. Constipation, also great. Yeah, really. Uh, you know what's so funny? He's like, my sciatica, Dr. Daryl, you did a good job. You know, I feel so much better sleeping. But constipation! <laughs> oh my God! Everybody always gets happy when they poop. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, because constipation is very important. Still very tight on this side. Let me get him a good adjustment here. Oh man. It's all about muscle memory. You just gotta relax and, and just follow the instructions. Things will fall in place. Hey, give a shout out to your wife for making you stay. Yes, uh, I wanna thank my wife. Yes. She, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be in here. Yeah, she, well, she's the one to talk to Liz. Yeah. And, 